The Team Lolly Show was previously recorded. It's time to enter the world of real estate in Oahu with Hawaii's only true real estate radio show, the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Grab a pen and get ready to take notes. For the next full hour, Hawaii's premier real estate leader, Adrienne Lally and Attilio Leonardi, will bring you the latest in real estate news and real-world strategies on how they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. Now, here are your hosts, Adrian and Attilio. Welcome to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. If you have any questions, just give us a call at 799-9596 or check us out online at teamlally.com. Hey, everybody. This is Attilio, and this is that art part of the show. Today, I want to, this is all for you business owners, independent contractors, side hustle people, Lyft drivers, Uber drivers. You know, we're all, we're all just a bunch of squirrels out there trying to get, our, get a nut. And so this is the book that, or some nugget or a nut that I want to share with you today is from a book titled, what's the book titled, Adrian? A Hundred Proven Ways to Acquire and Keep Clients for Life. Who's it written by? That It's Richard Wildman. Yeah. And we actually had him on our show a couple months back mm-hmm. and he was sharing some of his little nuggets from the book as um, he was excited to have it released. And it's just, you can find it on Amazon. It's It's a great book. Yeah, so here's a little nugget I'll share with you. People today are not just buying the product or service. So everybody's got a product or service or a combination thereof. People today are not just buying the product or service you're selling. People are buying the experience they have Mm -hmm. with you and the relationship and emotional bond that it fosters. Because we know this as realtors. I think this is true of in general for all services that... Adrian, when you go online and you Google best realtor in Kapole or Eva Beach, you're going to have like whatever, five pop Mm -hmm. up. And then you're going to call that real, call that not realtor, but plumber. You're going to call the plumber. They don't answer. There's four more to call. What do you do? Leave a voicemail and then check in with them again? No, you just keep calling. You hang up and you call plumber number two. They don't answer. What do you do? Call again. And then by the time when you do, like, say, plumber number three gets on the phone, then what do you do? Then you talk to them. You and hire them. Then you hire them. Now, are you going to be like, hold on, plumber number three. I called plumber number one, plumber number two, and I'm waiting for them to return my call. So I just want to get some information from you right now. No, that's not how consumers work in this day and age. They're going to call the people that answer the phone. So wanna, you can have the great experience, but what I want to share with you is you got to have a systems or processes. And have you, a sense of urgency. Where you yeah. answer the phone. Yes. And I want to go back yeah. to the um, how you mentioned the experience. So just, I think it was yesterday, I had a call from a client that I originally had helped them back in 2007 yeah. with their home purchase. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, it was, I think, about maybe 2011 is when we actually, you and I, had helped them to sell their home. And we had to do a short sale for them. Yeah. But just, you know, the experience and the connection that our team had built with these people, you know, she, I mean, this is, this is, a, you know, a long time that um, has passed. But they had a, a very good friend that got orders to Hawaii and she called and was like, I, you know, I, I really need you guys to, to help our family friend. Yeah, right. they're they're scared. They're they're moving all the way to Hawaii, and of course, you know we're happy to help. And what's a way that consumers can determine what other clients' experience has been with you? Well, of course, you can take a look at the Google reviews. Yeah, Google reviews. Read through all those reviews. And by the way, speaking of another company, where before you even get on the phone with them, mm-hmm. you can check out their reviews and be confident on what you read that this is the company that I should be uh, uh, helping me with one of the largest the, the investments that I have besides my own home, which is an investment property. What company is that, Adrian? That would be Hawaii Pacific Property Management. And we've got Duke Kim Han with his tip of the week. Yes. Hey, Duke. Okay. So the tip of the week is how does a property management company determine if a tenant is qualified? Mm, good question. So there's, yes, there's, you know, no one asked that. Not a single owner that I deal with 
that is thinking about using our company asked me that question. Yeah. That's probably the most important question that you can ask a property management person. But you know what they asked me instead? What's, What's your, your fee? What is your what is your <laughs> fee? Correct. They should be asking how do you pre-qualify a tenant? Mhm. Yeah, because, because everybody's yeah. different and the standard in the industry is to do a background check obviously, yeah. credit check, right? Mm-hmm. But we we go way farther than that. So we take the score, we let you know what the score is, we ask for their last two landlords and we ask for paycheck stubs and tax returns if we can get them. Wow. Bank statements, tax yeah. returns, um all that stuff. It's just so important to make sure the person is a real person. Yeah. So do because with, we've, with, been, with we've getting, been conned by that. Yeah. Before with getting these extra um, items, like what kind of things are you hoping to find out about the tenant? Or not? Well, that they have <laughs> two and a half times the income. Mm-hmm. They have a steady job that's been in process for more than a year. Yeah. And their bosses are willing to recommend them and their past landlords to say that they are qualified good people that. They pay their rent on time. There's no issues. Um, they don't, you know, beat their wives and girlfriends or boyfriends and husbands, and they don't have any domestic issues. So we do a Google check. We check them on Google also to make sure that uh, there's not anything in there that they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like they run their business. You know, they have a laundromat business that they run out of their house or something like that. <laughs> yeah. They got like an Amazon drop ship. I'm saying, for, like, like I'm yeah. hearing you say this is probably because this has happened. <laughs> this yeah. has all happened to us. We're like, and we get, we just got done with an eight and a half month eviction because the tenants were so slippery. But they posted a tax return. They posted a good credit score. They did all the the things that they needed to get in. Mm-hmm. But you know, two months in, one of the uh, income people lost their jobs oh. that they had for six months. So we moved the standard to a year now. Yeah. When you're getting so, employed. Yep. Yep. And they they took us for a ride. I think when people ask you what you guys fee, you should give the same answer that they tell you when you're at the Dolce Cabana store or the Louis Vuitton <laughs> store or the Gucci store. If you got to ask, you can't afford it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But it it's it's but you like, can't you can't afford not to hire Duke and his team. They're, they're asking what Duke is saying is they're asking the wrong question and yes. not asking enough of the right ones. Exactly. What Correct. is your what is your tenant kid. screening process? <laughs> yes. That's yeah. that is the most important thing. Because it doesn't matter if I have a discount or of eight percent or I charge twelve percent. If you have a tenant not paying you rent and you have to legally get them out yeah you're you're way behind the eight ball i mean like you're down three months of rent minimum and attorney and fees. then you got to pay yeah you got to pay the court and the processing the, the court processor to go serve them oh which and the storage you need fees. a lock yeah 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 and the storage fee for all their stuff i mean it's it's another 5k yeah we had uh you know i don't like to bring up i don't like to be like the regular news bringing up all the the, the the blood and the gore and all of that. But in Hawaii, Diamond Head area, we had one of the worst tenant landlord situations probably in Hawaii's history where it was a for rent by owner. The guy was had some mental issues and, you know, unfortunately some HPD officers lost their lives and multiple homes got burned down and he killed himself yeah. and burned the house. I mean, that's an extreme example. Uh, but I know that, 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 you know, if if he had a history of that, I don't know if he did. He could have he could have snuck in there underneath the wire that y'all would have found out and avoided the situation to begin with. So that's a te- you know it's like a extreme example of a for rent by owner gone horribly wrong. And I would say that I probably would want Duke and his team between me and that kind of situation Absolutely. every single time. And I yes. don't. And on my two properties, that's who I use. You're risking a million dollars minimum. Yeah. You know what? I, I just don't get it why people don't interview other property managers. Yeah. They only interview one and then when things go wrong, then they 
they start interviewing. They're yeah. like, oh, we learned our lesson. Yeah. Huh. I said, oh, my God, that must have been a bad one. Check out the reviews. Give Duke a call. Uh, the wise person learns from their own mistakes, but a happy person learns from the mistakes of others. Be happy. Call Duke. That's a good <laughs> thing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Duke. <laughs> Thanks, Bye-bye. Duke. All right. Again, that's Duke Kim Han of Hawaii Pacific Property Management. He's under our resource tab on the experts we trust. Yeah, so just go to Google, just Google teamlally.com, go to the experts we trust. Hey, you're a realtor. You're trying to figure out, you know, there's like we become the resource mm-hmm. center for homeowners and everybody out there, for plumbers, attorneys, electricians, carpenters, house cleaners. Uh, you know, we'll give you the free the free info here for you realtors out there. Just you go to our experts, our trust. Tell them you you know you saw them on our site and you want to give them a, a a spin, and know that for them to be there in the beginning with, we've 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 done our research. We've done our experts we trust screening process. Yeah, kind of similar to Duke's tenant screening process. Yeah. So I want to read. I want to share a review from a recent closing. Yeah. Uh, so this is from Brian Sampson, one of our friends from F forty five. Hey, Brian. Hello. Hey, Chrissy. Yes. So Mm -hmm. Monica, Adrian, and Laura were fantastic in taking us from start to finish Mm -hmm. in finding our forever home. With less than 24 hours notice, they filled up our calendar with five back-to-back showings in our desired neighborhood. They helped us navigate the offer process with some very creative ideas. When our original offer lost out to another bid, they took it as a challenge and found an off-market listing which met all our criteria and more. In fact, it was even better than the original. Uh We were the first and only showing, and they helped us lock it all in with a smooth offer process. They were were there through the end, and we never felt more welcome or special when we picked up our keys. This is a five-star team. Five-star team. Thank you so much. Thank you. And... uh... Uh, so we always say it. Don't take our word for it. Check out our Google reviews. You, there's there's multiple ways that you can interview us before even speaking with us. So looking at our reviews is one. Adrian, what's another way that they can interview us without interviewing us? Just uh, listen to our radio show. Listen to the radio show. What else? Well, And then also you can watch the radio show. Because watch we, the radio show. We, what else? We stream it live. I want to just you know put this little disclaimer out. But we stream yeah. it on Saturdays at 10 a.m. on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, yeah. X, and uh, Instagram. Awesome. Yes. Was that Instagram new? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, well, it's, it? it's like in the last couple of months we've okay, figured cool. out how to get it, Here's get it a, on there. Share something with the audience that they may not know from looking at social media. Here, I'll share you something for, that you may not know about me from, from social media. I'm not on any social media. <laughs> I personally don't have an Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. I don't know what's all about there, but... I don't have any of those. So okay. I'm on social media, but not on social media. So if you're like, hey, Tilio, I saw your Instagram posting. Uh, if it's on Team Lally, Team Lally or Adrian's site, that's that's probably me. But if it's like standalone, that's not me. Mm-hmm. So And this has happened. Yes, and, you have uh, some you know, But I feel, I feel pretty cool because uh, I'm in good company because Snoop Dogg, he had a fake Instagrammer. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I think it was uh, Twitter. Well, and now it's X. Yes. Anyway, uh, more tips for this market, more tips for your company, more tips for personal, or you got something? Well, I just want to also remind our listeners that we are hiring. Oh, yeah. We are looking for a Let's inside, talk about specifically what we're looking Yeah, go inside, ahead. Inside sales agent, a phone pro. If you like being on the phone, talking to people, making appointments. That is uh, That position is uh, ISA. Uh, I know it sounds like a Samoan name, Isa. Isa is a person who work in our office who call <laughs> people and say, uh, we're going to get you a house near like EA because we want to. No, um, I used to grow up in Haula. I, no, no, I used to. I did grow up in Haula. All my neighbors, Tilio, let's go play some football on the street. And I said, oh, um, I got to go cut the grass first. But anyway, um, what is an ISA? It's an inside sales agent uh-huh. or a telephone pro. Telephone pro. Someone who is taking the inbound calls and making outbound calls and, and matching. They're like a matchmaker. Yeah. They're matching our, 
clients. You like Match.com for clients and that's, real estate. That's right. With all of our awesome agents that we have on our team, and they're just they're a very important part of the team. You can make the potential. So uh, this person needs to be licensed or in the process of getting licensed. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't necessarily need to have any direct real estate industry experience. Uh, well, we would like you to have a, you know, some kind of sales experience or even some phone, phone, uh, what do we call Customer them? Customer service yeah. kind of phone experience. Phone experience, calling yeah. people. And uh, we have one of those champagne problems, first world problems, too many leads, not enough uh, people to focus on getting them done. We do have our agents to do that and we are getting it done and we do take your calls and we're highly responsive. But we find that if we have that focused in one specific role, with a person Monday through Friday. It creates a better experience for, for everyone. Yeah, so this is a way to get into real estate uh, front of the house where you're taking these calls, making the outbound calls, booking the appointments, creating the initial relationship, and as we just talked about from uh, Richard, creating the initial experience. Yes. And uh, when the inbound call comes in, you're doing that one word. It's the number one script, only has one word on it. Hello. 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 Uh, if you are, if your name is Isa, it's going to be Talofa. But anyway, uh, that's what we're looking for. So if you, if you are that person, you know someone. Now you're like, here's what I'm going to tell you what we're not looking for. You're like, I never did sales before. Uh, I didn't even sell Portuguese sausage door to door for my football team or my softball team. I was too chicken. Uh, I had to have my mom go take all the tickets to work and sell them to all her coworkers. That we're not looking for you. I'm looking for the kid that was going door to door selling Portuguese sausage tickets because they were excited to go Disneyland uh, with their English class. Hmm. That's the person we're looking for. Speaking of someone that is not afraid to go door to door, uh, he is literally uh, a, he, Mr. Aloha for Maui. Who is Mr. Aloha for Maui? That would be our good friend, Randy Antonio. Hello, Randy. Aloha. <laughs> so, Maui no Koi and then Randy no Koi. What then, is going on over there? And then, Randy, I just want to give a quick shout out to you and yeah. your awesome service. I was on the phone earlier with our mutual client, Daniel, and he is so oh. great, so grateful for the connection. Oh, yeah. You're helping him help. with some family house over there. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Always, always have, happy to help all your friends. Yes. <laughs> You know, Maui has been on the top of everyone's mind uh, worldwide, if not at least nationwide. What What's going yeah. on on Maui? What's the latest? And and give people the good news because you need we need visitors, right? We need people mm -hmm. to come and spend money over there on Maui. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the Valley Isle is still welcoming visitors. You know, Lahaina is still going through its process of planning, cleaning up. Yes. And, um, placing people in residences it's a long complicated process and i know everybody's doing the best that they can to help all those that were suffered from the fire mm -hmm. so yeah there's that prevailing uh mood on this on the other side of that you know we still are seeing tourism in strong numbers although it is slower time of the year usually this time may going into april may june is the slower season overall uh -huh. but again i think this is an amazing time to visit when there's not as many people you'll really have a nice experience here the weather is beautiful and uh you know ev everywhere on the island is open with the exception of a little behind the town mm. so you know please come visit we you know everybody welcomes everybody here and we we just need to bring it back strong as ever you know i googled the other day five the five most fun things to do on Maui. You know what was number one? Uh -huh. What's what? that? Uh, having a glass of wine with uh, with uh, Randy and watching the sun go down. <laughs> Which oh, we yeah. have done. That's number one rated on, on uh, Top. Uh, TripAdvisor. <laughs> exactly. Five stars all the way around for the experience. But yeah. let's, you know, yeah. talk to people. Come over there. I mean, you got one of the most beautiful islands in the world. Uh, some people like... They don't even come to Oahu. They just go straight to Maui. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what else is going on with condos. Any, what, is, what else Especially you want to share? I noticed the Canadians. They yeah, seem they to love like, Maui. They seem to like Maui a little better than Oahu. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's definitely a haven for the, our Canadian friends. Yeah. So on the, on the real estate side, I tell you what, it's a great time to invest here because we are having a rise in inventory, especially for 
Airbnb condos, vacation rental condos. Mm -hmm. We have a really good supply. Actually, you could call it a buyer's market right now, you know, and that's where you have sufficient inventory and a, a, a and you have the advantage of making choices. So mm. that's great. So, Randy, I noticed, because um, we're in that same Facebook group for our uh, uh-huh. Keller Williams office, and I noticed someone had made a comment about one of the short-term rental areas being kind of like um, in the works of being eliminated. Mm-hmm. With um, So is, is that part of the reason why there's a lot of condos that are coming up? or um, You know, I think there's a... There, we're, you know, the, unfortunately, a lot of the owners are getting owners of vacation rentals are getting a lot of mixed messages from the yeah. county. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What they're doing with the Airbnb moratorium, it's very mixed message, and it this, this makes it very confusing for even the consumer to think is it really uh, a worthy investment now to own Airbnb. Hmm. So, um, what I've been advising our clients is that you know I can't even give them 100% certainty because I don't think the government knows what they're what they're gonna do. Yes. In the meantime, you know, it's an opportunity. Anything, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Having an investment on Maui, whether it's a long-term, short-term rental, we're not building anymore. That's the yeah. good thing. It's like you know, anything you own here is like that's it. You know, yeah. don't expect to see anything new. You so, know the. Uh, I don't know if you heard of this investor. His name is Warren Buffett. I don't know if anybody's heard of this guy, named Warren Buffett. But he said, when everybody's being cautious, be assertive. Mm-hmm. And when everybody's like going for it, be cautious. So this is the time that if Warren Buffett were a realtor, yeah, I think he owns a real estate company anyway. But if you're a realtor yeah. on Maui, he would be telling you, go get something. There's a yeah, value there. Buy something. This is when you want to have, yeah. this is where the value is now. And yep. what the heck? Come visit your vacation rental once a year and write it off. I'm not giving tax advice, but that's uh, probably what we like, would do. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I say, investing in Maui is a lifestyle investment. You yeah. know? And if your lifestyle is worth investing in, then this is the place to do it. I think everybody should be lifestyle investor. <laughs> but it's like spending money and having an experience. If yeah. if the Robin Hood, you know, with the for tra- if they had if they could connect experience with trading stocks, more people would be doing it. And uh, yeah. so, um, thanks so much, Randy, for the Maui update. Yes, uh, Randy. Right, pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes, thanks, Randy. Bye, Randy. Aloha, y'all. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. So, if any of our listeners are interested in uh, these opportunities over on Maui, call just us right now. Give us a call. We will help get you connected. With so, yeah, friends. we make it easy for yeah. you. It's the phone number is 808 799 9596 or send us an email at uh, info at teamlale.com. I want to get back to the ISA role that we are looking to fill on here. We're going to be talking about it a lot because we're tripling down on finding the who. Mm hmm. That is a critical component of our business. And what is Anissa? Be, and it could be potential, uh, potentially two who's. Yeah. Which is, I mean, we would really like to have two. Yeah. So the, it's, it's an acronym ISA, which stands for Inside Sales Agent. Uh, again, the what is the opportunity? This is going to be somebody that's helping us convert leads and make appointments. You're going to have a base salary. Benefits. Benefits. And then you have the opportunity through commissions to make agent level money and i will tell you that uh you know i guess i guess I could share a number with you um our last isa about halfway through the year made about seventy thousand mm-hmm. dollars everybody says the six figures i'm like forget that, Just, that i'll tell after, you what the number is that was at six uh, the six month mark yeah halfway That's through true. the year so you do the math mm-hmm. and uh now that wasn't from day one that took some momentum and desire to build but if you want to come into a uh I was, you know, it was like those ads for like those call centers come into our rock and roll atmosphere and where we have cases of monster drinks. No, uh, maybe Celsius. Yes. And then we, it is also a pet friendly atmosphere. Pet friendly. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, we have a pet friendly atmosphere. We got these, uh, we have, uh, an office that we just built that we own. Uh, we are located, uh, in the James Campbell industrial park. Kind of by like behind Costco, kind of like mm-hmm. down that road by the Kapolei Fire Station. So if you're somebody that lives out the west side, which is the best side, no no traffic, come to work, and we got yeah. everything for you. 
Or even if you live somewhere else, it's not a problem. You're just, you do the reverse commute. Yeah. Because you're not and really it, fighting and, traffic. You know, and you're really good on the phone and you have that base knowledge. We will tell you, give you everything else. The technology, uh, the, the, the people systems, to call. the people to call. We got lots of people to call. We'll help you with some mastery level coaching on how to, how to increase your conversion and continually to get better. All right. So we are going to take a break, but stay with us. When we come back, we'll be talking with... Taylor Bramwell of Kilauea Pest Control. We're going to talk about pest control innovations, community impact, and more. So stay with us. Have you ever been in a financial bind? How long did you wait before you called in the experts? Aaron and Alexis knew they couldn't wait much longer. They were preparing to return to the mainland and carrying both a rent and a mortgage on their home in Mililani. It was definitely time to call my friends Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lally Real Estate Group of Keller Williams Honolulu to step in and help. They dove right in and discussed the selling process, wasting no time. Adrian and Attilio prepared their home for market. And within three short weeks, the listing went live. But wait, not even a full week later, Aaron and Alexis had two offers on their home and closed escrow over the asking price. When you need to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama, trust Adrian and Attilio of Team Lally to do the job for you. Call 808-799-9596. That's 808-799-9596. Or visit TeamLally.com. Spelled Lally, L-A-L-L-Y. Taking one cash offer for your home doesn't have to be your only option. I'm Barbara Corcoran, and especially in today's current market, having a local real estate agent who offers great marketing and options that are customized to fit your needs is smart. In Honolulu, the agents I trust are Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardo. They can give you a guarantee to sell your home, flexible fees, or up to $10,000 in cash to help with repairs. Get the option that's right for you. Go to teamlally.com. Hey, Sean Hannity here talking with the only real estate agent in your market I recommend. Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lally Real Estate Group of Keller Williams, Honolulu. You know, it's more important than ever that you have your house in top condition when you sell it. Can you give some suggestions on how to do that? Sean, homes need to be move-in ready. The basics are decluttering, depersonalizing, professional cleaning, and getting all the honeydew lists done. We have the resources to do a full remodel and or simple things like cleaning, painting, and landscaping. How will that impact the listing price? Ultimately, by working with a team of professionals with a ton of resources and strategies, you will net more money in a shorter amount of time. That's it. Let's go. Great update. Thank you for keeping us informed. Put the most experience and the best marketing to work for you. Call Team Lally now at 799-9596 or online at teamlally.com. That's teamlally.com. Welcome back and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian. And I'm Attilio. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at 799-9596 or check us out online at teamlally.com. Dot com. Well, hey, our guest today is uh, Kailua native and graduate of Brigham Young University, Hawaii, with a bachelor's degree in exercise and sports science. Drawn by the people and the opportunity to work with a local growing business, he joined Kilauea Pest Control, where he now serves as the marketing director. Please welcome back our guest, Taylor Bramwell. Hey, Taylor. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's hit the ground running. Uh, pests. Uh, we talking about uh, ungrateful teenagers, or are we talking about termites? Which pests? Well, there's lots of other pests. A little bit too. of both. We can go either direction. <laughs> here, if, you, if you like. <laughs> How about that neighbor who had the car parked on the street from 1979 with the grass growing underneath the tires? <laughs> uh, no, not that's, that one. That's one kind of pest for sure. Yeah. So. Uh, well, let's let, let's talk about like one of the main ones that we see here in, in Hawaii, and also you know during our real estate transactions of you know buying and selling, we always have this termite inspection, termite report. Let's just you know let's talk about termites first. Yeah, in the there. in the in the nature of the real estate transaction, we have a termite report. What's a termite report, Taylor? 
or yeah, inspection. Yeah, report is something yeah. required by by lenders, right? Yes. And so it's, it's, its official name is the PC9 or the WDO, the Wood Destroying Organism Report. And so it's it's like a it's a form that has specific boxes and and lines. And uh-huh. so um, most realtors have probably seen this um, and and look through it if they've ever been through an escrow transaction. Um, and so there's there's a few certain things we have to go by, but it, essentially it's an inspection for wood destroying organisms. So really termites in Hawaii, there's a couple other type of pests that could be classified on that form, like uh, powder post beetles and a few other ones, but mm-hmm. really for termites in Hawaii, termites, uh, which we have yeah. a lot of both gri- ground and dry wood termites. And so for a realtor, um, I, I would say that the main things is get it. Uh, scheduled early because <laughs> uh, we all know the the hustle and escrow yes. um, can be can be a lot <laughs> and so trying to get it done ahead of time uh, there is a small window of about 14 days that usually the lender requires to have it with it before closing so there's a little bit of a small window but getting it done early or anticipation um, when you list if you know there's termite droppings just get someone in there and, and, and get the ball rolling some um, and then um, there's going to be you're going to get a diagram of the property uh, with markings on where the termites were found, evidence of termites might be found, and then um, and we're going to list what's recommended for treatment, and then you take it from there, essentially. So, yeah. t- Taylor, with uh, the Kilauea Pest Control Termite Inspection, you guys offer something that's pretty unique. I've not seen any other companies do this. Um, tell us about this this warranty that you guys offer. Yeah, it's something we're super proud of um, because there's there's a lot that goes into buying a home and, and people buying homes are spending a lot of money. And so we do our best to, to be helpful in that transaction, make sure they know exactly what's going on termite wise. And with that, we try to add extra value, which is to give a warranty to that buyer coming in. Um, and so if, if it's a clear report, we do a one year dry wood termite warranty um, for that buyer coming in. So if they find termites throughout that year, we'll come back and treat it for free. Um, and that sometimes it's awesome. even been uh, furniture bringing it in. Uh, yeah. they, they brought termites in. We'll still just treat it. We honor that. And so we just like to offer that. I think that makes the realtor look good, helping them nice. find a company that will get them a little more bang for their buck. Yeah, because that's helpful for the garage, the species called the garage sale termite and the swap meet termite <laughs> or side of the world, side of the road. Oh, I saw this piece of furniture, side of the road termite. Uh, and you brought it home to the house. That's cool. You know, I want to share with you an experience that I directly have with your company. Uh, and I just, uh, I have to issue a correction for my review <laughs> that I typed into your system. Because I said, uh, and by the way, James was awesome. James is this short Filipino guy, about five feet tall. No, he's this big Hawaiian kid. They came to my house, mm-hmm. super, super polite, uh, very professional. I was having issues with... I don't know what they are, but they're little, little ants. They're yeah. little t- teeny ants, like tiny ants. Uh, and then he's like, he and I said, oh, so what we do for that? I thought he was going to nuke the whole house, but he put like this. It looked like drops of glue. Like I had, like I have glasses. I couldn't even see it. I had to put my glasses on, but it was really tiny. and was like bait. And then he said, oh, in about a week, those, those tiny ants will go away. And sure enough, they're all gone. And uh, so it was like the biggest, biggest Kilauea pest control person I ever seen to help take care of the <laughs> tiny. tiniest problem I ever had. But I have to issue a correcting statement because when I filled out you guys' review, I put James is the pest. <laughs> Instead <laughs> of the best. I wasn't wearing my glasses. Go look for real. It says James was the pest. <laughs> but but he I, was the best. But he was the best. Not again, a pest. I gave him five stars and then I posted it on the Google. <laughs> awesome yeah james yeah. is awesome that's great yeah i'm glad so when you see him next say oh james the ghost dance yeah the tell time. him james i heard so, you was the pest so so Atilio <laughs> brought up you know oh, like ghost on, dance. on to our next topic which well, hold is on. the well no we're talking about other services and the the technician so yes. you kind of jumped ahead and so well, Atilio talked, personal experience. Yeah, talked it was about to jump these little tiny ants like what other kind of pests do you guys uh service taylor yeah, I mean, of course, we start with termites, always with realtors and stuff like that. And termite yeah. swarming is here. We've seen some swarms. But other type of pests, um, you know, with all the rain we've had through the winter and the spring, mm-hmm. we've actually been getting quite a bit. And we've talked about this before on the show, I think. But uh, with birds, we've been doing a lot of bird exclusion events. And then also underneath solar panels has been a big one. Uh, oh, we've yeah. A, a lot of solar panel netting and protection. Mm-hmm. And then with this, in the same vein, we'd be getting a lot of rodent exclusion too, for similar reasons. When it rains like that, it's driving pests where? 
indoors, right? And mm. so they're looking for cover for harborage areas where they're going to be protected, especially in the at night when they're sleeping and, and things like well, birds, um, uh, rodents will be up at night running around, of course. Yeah. Um, and you guys, yeah, those ha- you guys have been kind of a lot going on. You guys helped me with the bird problem. It was it was pretty helpful. You came yeah. and put some little spikes on my roof. Yeah. And then they headed over to my neighbor's house. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> Maybe you gotta, you gotta, you know what? You gotta put one sign in the front yard. Uh, we just finished up another happy client with, with, and then put like, like a picture of bird poop with a circle with a slash through it. No more bird poop over here. Sorry, went to your house. Hey, speaking of Adrian, we, we do referral uh, bonuses too. So yeah. if you refer a friend or family and they sign up for a pest control, we give you 50 bucks off your next service. Yeah. It sounds Ooh. like maybe your neighbor might need some, uh, some, bird spikes as well bird exclusion as well yeah you know i gotta get you guys out to my house because i just painted it i'm like i gotta have you guys go do that because what they do like i have the downspouts that come from the from the rain gutter and it Mm -hmm. like makes like a l thing Mm -hmm. and then goes but that's where they like to perch and just you need some spikes there it's like it's like one porta potty for birds (laughs) is all my downspouts all around my house And That's uh, a pretty common spot. Yeah. yeah. So I got to get you guys out there to put those things up. And uh, and then we talk about it, too. Like a lot of people, like the vent holes in the roof line, right below the roof line, mm-hmm. those are all open. Yep. And I've we went, we remodeled, I helped a homeowner remodel a home, and we went up in there and pulled out. There was enough bird nests in there, like the size of a small car. <laughs> like serious. We piled it yeah. up and took a picture of it. I couldn't believe how much bird nest, bird nest material was up there. It's like a fire hazard. But what else? What else, yep. Taylor? Yeah, yeah the, those little, those big bird nests. A lot yeah. of those are from Java finches. They're the smallest bird, but they make nests that are so big. Yeah. <laughs> like over time, they just keep building it. And yeah, we'll pull out some big nests. Yeah. Um, but just just to touch on the bird exclusion there too. I know we use bird spikes at your property, Adrian, and that can be really effective using those. Mm-hmm. So at Kilauea, we always try and that like we're always trying to keep up to date with the best technology, the best products to use. And so uh-huh. bird spikes are one vents, like you mentioned, Atilio vent covers, use aluminum yeah. vents. So they're the rest, not going to rust and not going to wear out. They're more durable. So birds can't peck through and make the nest inside. Mm-hmm. Um, we're using other things. There's another one called a, a bird gel disc. And it's essentially, it's a small disc, either magnet or we can um, zip tie it, or there's a couple other options we can do to attach it. And depending on how much activity you put them in space apart in different uh, measurements but it, what it does is it has a gel on there that reflects light that looks like the area is on fire oh. and then also mm. it has um, it uses a certain type of essential oil that the that birds don't like so it kind of deters by the smell too you can't smell it too well unless you're right next to it yeah um, but there's just those are kind of a cool option too because you don't see them as much right they're kind of more flush with your downspout or whatever gotcha. Bird spikes are great, can be really effective, but sometimes you don't want to look at bird spikes, right? So yeah. um, just throwing that out there with that. And then you know, another thing we're using to keep up with technology, trying to be effective, efficient, and, and safe and use the best products is uh, we're using drones a lot in, our, in some of our pro- uh, projects too oh, wow. and our jobs. And what that does is instead of having to get on ladders all the time for inspections, um, which anytime you're on a ladder, safety dangerous. issue, right? Like yeah. you, you try to be safe, but it's a little bit can be dangerous. And so- mm-hmm. We're using drones to build to inspect areas for rodents, for birds, for lots of other different things, especially for like condos downtown. We do a lot of big bird jobs for condos oh, or nice. like warehouse stores or like airports or other big government projects or facilities. And so using drones and things like that and those bird discs, there's a lot of options out there. And so yeah. we love to show up and problem solve with you. What's, what's best for your, your area, your home to figure out how to deter those birds or rodents? So- yeah. So, Taylor, with, like, all of these different kind of pests, you guys offer uh, different kinds of services that you will come out. Do you have, like, like monthly, quarterly? Oh, yeah, like, like pest, pest share, control. Yeah, share us, uh, with us about You stop these, by once a options. quarter, um, give some good advice to the teenagers on how to be more grateful, <laughs> and then take care of all the centipedes and cockroaches. What's that? What is that about? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, we have a few different pets packages. Our most common is an every other month service, and that's what we recommend in Hawaii. Nice. Um, it, it works the best. And, and what that will look like if you've never had pest control before, you'll call us up. We'll, we'll get you a quote for, for your home. And it's usually an initial service, which is like a little bit longer of a service. Yeah. And we'll talk with you, kind of give you a walkthrough of your home and what we're going to look look at doing to take care of whatever particular pest you have, what your hot button pest is, whether it's an ant or roach or centipede or all three, the trifecta, right? And uh, we'll have a very good flush out initial service. 
30 days later, we'll start your regular first service. And so yeah. you do get two services back to back at the beginning, just to kind of get off on a good foot. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause that first service is going to draw, you actually might see an increase in bugs for the first week or two because they're getting pushed out of their nest. And that means it's working, right? And they're yes. going to be over time, it's going to get rid of them. And then after that uh, follow up after 30 days, we'll switch to every other month. And that's going to be uh, interior and exteriors all included. Um, it's going to cover ants, roaches, centipedes, millipedes, um, we do some rodent trapping for you, spiders, all the general type pests. T- Taylor, and what about what about includes, fleas? Uh, free resurfaces. What about fleas? Does the um, does this the products? If people have pets, yeah. Do you have anything for the pet yeah. owners with the fleas? Great question, because yeah, we love our pets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, fleas, fleas are a thing. Uh, I think the first thing to do, as any pet owner knows, is get your pet on a, whether it's a dog or cat on a, a flea treatment yes. um, kind of thing. Because as long as there's fleas on the pet or ticks. It takes the other one. Um, Treat the host. They're not really going to go away yeah. as many times as you keep treating the home. Yeah. But a uh, flea or tick service, it's a little different. Um, we just use uh, something called an IGR. Uh, we add it to the, the product or add it to your service. Mm-hmm. And what that does is it, it's an internal growth regulator. It'll, it'll kill the, 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 the adult fleas. And then it will make it so they can't, um, the, the next generation can't lay eggs. And so it kind of stops the generation. So it stops them able to breed and, and start over and over again. So it's a little bit different service. You might have to do monthly for a few months. Like yeah. every, have us come out every month for a few months. But after that, you switch to regular every other month service. And that should help keep them at bay if you get a weird tick or a flea on your property from, but, from but somewhere it, else. But it's a partnership. So you got to take care of the pet too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I yeah, think that's course. like yeah, that's yeah. that's good to mention because yeah. I, I know a lot of uh, your clients, including me, you have pets, and or, you know, like my cats are inside and outside. Well, when and, you sell a house too, yeah. and they had nine dogs, and then the next people coming in don't have mm-hmm. any. Exactly. Right. Uh, they don't. They they buy in the house. Uh, they don't want any extra uh, yeah. occupants called no, fleas. That's right. Coming with the house when yeah, they go to move in. Right off yeah. the table. So we do a lot of pet move outs. Yeah. Mm. And that's something we can offer with our TIR, our termite inspection report. Oh, oh cool. nice. Our termite inspectors are equipped to do a pet move out at the same treatment. They, nice. If, if you like, you can add that on. We'll do a little discount for you mm-hmm. since we're already there. Yeah. And we can do a pet move out at the same time. That's yeah. good so, to if know. If that works out with scheduling and timing. Yeah. So. You know, we've been doing business a long time, recommending Kilo Web Pest Control for a long time. Using um, them personally for our, you know, quarterly our and house, bi-monthly treatments. Uh, and then Shane, our transaction coordinator, is getting you guys scheduled to come to our office. Yep. Because we saw some ants. Yeah. They came in. And you know what? I think they followed um, you from your house. No, no, no. To the office. These are bigger ones. <laughs> and um, they really like to have a cup of coffee every morning because mm. they got all inside the coffee maker. Ooh. So we cleaned it out, Ooh. told everybody no coffee for a while. And then um, I was trying to do like my fat, big fat Greek reading. I was just spraying Windex everywhere, but that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we need the pros out there. And then um, I also noticed some, you know, it's concrete floor, but... There was th- there was like these pests coming through the crack, you know, like the crack that they saw through the concrete to to uh, direct the settling. And so we're going to have you guys check out that spot. And then we noticed, too, that oh, okay. there's some plywood over. It's like one one strip of plywood over the drywall in the back area. So maybe they had a previous uh, pest issue. So we're going to have you guys check that out and then get us on a schedule. Well, get us on a schedule because yeah. we are pet so, friendly, but not tick friendly. So residential yeah. and commercial. Yeah. You know, yes. they, they do yes. it all. Do. Yeah. Lots of both. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you guys just finished some large Centricon job. What is Centricon? 30,000 something. Uh, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. yeah. Centricon. So, there's two types of termites drywood termites and ground termites. You treat yeah. for them totally differently, right? So, fumigation is really for drywood termites. Most people know about fumigation or spot treatment. Ground treatment, um, most of the time, there's a couple of weird cases where they're not entirely in the ground and it's a different treatment, but yeah. generally you're going to be treating the ground. So that's either a liquid barrier um, of a treatment or another option is bait stations. And we implement a product called Centricon, which was partly actually, it's kind of cool, has some ties to Hawaii. Yeah, It was developed in University of Florida and University of Hawaii in nice. partnership with University of Hawaii because we have so much termites here. We're yeah. like, we're interested. And so we actually have a pretty robust program over there at UH um, helping with this stuff. But Centricon, it's a bait system with an always active bait in there and always active technology. So um, termites will actually prefer that over a piece of wood. And how ground termites migrate, they'll migrate 
in colonies of 10 million at a time sometimes, right? And so those the underground, you won't see them, and they're looking for food, and they, they send out scouts and foragers in a big star-like pattern all over, like, a forest area or a neighborhood or whatever, wherever they're at. They're like, and when one out, finds a food. piece of wood they like, yeah. they'll send off a pheromone and bring that whole colony of 10 million termites to, like, hey, let's go eat here, and they'll set up yeah. shop, right? So that could be your home. Mm. Um, now, Centricon, how it works is it, it's every 12 feet around the perimeter of your house. Yeah. And so those foragers will hit that, and they prefer that over the piece of wood, and they'll bring that whole colony with them. And one or two of those stations will knock out an entire colony of 10 million brown oh, wow. termites, which is a Ooh. big deal because those things can cause damage pretty quickly if they're eating your house instead, right? Yeah. Um, so, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's Taylor, what Centricon is. we have a recording of these termites. Let me play it back for you. Hey, come over here. Check out this wood. This, this bugger is on. Oh, wait, get this l l over here. This is better. That's your bait station. And then, oh, wait, you know, what happened to Jerry? I don't know. He went to the l l We never heard from him again. We got to go check it out. Oh, let's keep going over there. Uh, stay away from that house. The l is all, I'm, you know, I'm like, and I, it, it just, I'm saying it in a good way because everybody's like, ah, I got to have me one play lunch. Go to l l We even look for it in the mainland. We're like termites looking for plate lunch. We're looking for it in the mainland, but... That's how with the Centricon is you're baiting them with something that's, that's, that's better, that they like that's better. better. They like it better. And, uh, and and it's true, Taylor, I've heard this before, that termites, you know, can be responsible for more more real estate damage than like fires and hurricanes mm-hmm. uh, uh, across yeah. the it's across over the whole state. It's over $100 a year in Hawaii yeah. alone. Yeah. Yeah. So Every anyway. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to steal that L and L plate wrench yeah. uh, reference. What we're gonna do? We're gonna drill one hole, <laughs> and then we <laughs> we're making these underground L and L places all the way around your house, and they're gonna run and go to L and L, then have like you know uh, leftovers. <laughs> so, uh, so, so Taylor, we just wanna um, as we're kind of wrapping things up, we wanna just give a, a big mm-hmm. shout out. We we heard that you guys three years in a row have been voted best places to work. Oh, nice. And, you know, a big part of it is the company culture, environment. And um, are you guys hiring? Are you guys hiring? I know our team is hiring. Are you guys looking for any new uh, pest techs? Probably always, right? And then you get to go have lunch with John, the owner. (laughs) Does he take you to Ellen? Yeah, yeah. We're super (laughs) proud of it. It's been three years we've won the Hawaii Business Magazine. I think I saw you. I didn't go this year, but I went to the event last year. I think you you two were there maybe I saw yeah, you right yeah and you know um, so, you were dressed really nice I maybe you had a nice nice yeah. suit, nice dress <laughs> John uh, John takes uh, you to l l he gets you the big boy big boy big moke special <laughs> and then you go into kind of like a little bit of a food coma and then we come back to the office and that's part of your onboarding right so <laughs> exactly yeah yeah that, that's the thing so John <laughs> he's very involved with the business he's the owner um, John Speed and his wife Jenny they started yes. the business over 20 years ago nice and so yeah we, we, we're definitely hiring to answer your question. We're growing. Um, there's a lot of great opportunities within the company to, to grow with the company. Um, and what, like you said, every time a new hire, uh, someone's hired, John has lunch with them within the first month. He likes to sit nice. down one-on-one nice. or in, in a group with, with all those new hires. And so he's very involved. He, he teaches a leadership class for anyone interested in growing within the company. Um, that's really cool. And we always try and get people's license. And in fact, one thing that we noticed over the last few years, especially as we've grown, and is that we have a lot of um, friends. Like we'll hire we'll hire someone, and then we'll end up they'll end up saying, "Hey, my my uncle has a job, or my auntie, my cousin." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot of families and friends because people come work here, and they're like, "Oh, like I know someone needs someone in my family needs a job. They should come work yes. here." They're like they're proud of where they work, you know. Nice. And so that, that's really nice to hear that you know we have. You have that culture that attracts people. Yeah. You got so yeah, exactly. in business we talk about so, yeah. <laughs> in business we talk about, you know, a lot of business are constantly recruiting. But if you want to make your life easier, get into the attraction mode. So that's mm-hmm. how you guys are as a business. You attract people to you. You really, you know, you're still recruiting, but recruiting maybe now ten percent and ninety percent, eighty percent is the referrals, the fan, friends and family that saying, Hey, yep. I work at an awesome place. You should come work here too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, if you're a realtor out there, you're just starting in the business, you know, make Kilauea Pest Control part of your team mm-hmm. uh, because how they interact with the transaction and the clients and the whole thing. It all reflects on it you. It all reflects on you. And I'll tell you, yep. we've had some some blow ups, not necessarily, not in the, in the, anything you guys fault. 
But what I really liked about Kilauea is not how things went smooth. Obviously, we like that. Mm -hmm. But when things went sideways, I personally witnessed you guys just going the extra mile to make it right. Yes. So. So thank you. Thank you, Taylor. For thank you, Taylor. For being uh, a guest back on the show. Yeah. And we'll be looking forward yeah, to hearing you. some your some of your tips of the week in uh, some future shows. Oh, here. one last thing. When you guys yeah. spray the perimeter of the house, I love the fact that you guys move the doormats away. It's the little things. It's the little things. Yes. That we're trying to get rid of out of the house. But what? moving the doormats is also one of the little things that we like. Yes. <laughs> so thank We got some great technicians. <laughs> yes. Shout out to them. They're yeah. awesome. <laughs> They're awesome. Very courteous, yeah. very kind. The, the experience with you guys has always been awesome. I've never had a bad experience at my own personal home with Kilauea. Uh, so always pleasant. And... My family is very happy that they don't see one 19-inch centipede crawling <laughs> around. That's, that's how it was in the beginning. And then, you know, that's Hawaii. So that's yep. Hawaii. So anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Right on. Thank you so much. All right. So Kilauea Pest Control, if you go to Experts We Trust, yep. it's under the Resource tab on our website. You can see all of the experts, and including... Kilauea Pest Control. So Real quick. Take a look. Uh, again, we are looking for an ISA, and that's an acronym. ISA stands for what, Adrian? Inside Sales Agent. So if you're somebody that's got some phone experience, not necessarily real estate experience, but you want to get into an environment and a culture with a with a base salary, benefits, and being able to make agent, realtor level money. Or more. Or more. Sky's yeah. the limit. Mm -hmm. We've done it before. We are looking for one or two people to come and be part of our team. And come with us once a month to our team hikes, uh, our service projects, uh, just having fun in our environment. Well, speaking and, of uh, the yeah. service project, we do have a Red Day oh, yeah. coming up May, in May. May 9th. Mo Anderson's birthday. That's right. Yeah. And we're going to be cleaning doing up. Doing good in the community. Yeah, we'll what are we going to be doing? Cleaning up over, uh, over in Waianae. Waianae. With uh, Andrea Tapula. Oh, She's nice. Got some service, in. Yeah, she has some service project going on over there. So we're going to go and help and support. Andrea, so if you see a whole bunch of people with red shirts, that's called Red Day. And we doing we going back and giving into the community. And we do that every year all the way around the world, wherever Keller Williams is located with the agents. It's called and, Red Day. And we want to invite our listeners. Come if help. You, if you guys want to come help, just reach out. To come in, help. In, clean up your own community. Info at yeah. TeamLally.com. And we'll get you signed up. And yeah. you can you know help us do this. this big they usually bring cleanup. somebody out for some food. Don't quote me on that. But you usually yeah. bring one vendor out to bring some food. Free mm -hmm. snacks. We'd, we'd love to have more of our community involved. By the way, well if you agents. come work for us at Team Lally at our office, we have good snacks. <laughs> I think they'd be like, oh, I heard you guys got good snacks. I yeah. want to interview. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we'll take you to lunch too. Excellent snacks. Yeah. All right. Anything else before we... We wrap ah, it up. You know, it's a, it's a topsy-turvy market. You're unsure what to do. Uh, here's what we will tell you. We'll be humble enough, to, humble enough to tell you, don't hire us. Just interview us. But smart enough to tell you that make us one of the choices or one of the people that you interview. Give us the opportunity to earn your business. And, and by the way, we know everything doesn't go perfect. Mm -hmm. And if something's going sideways, we always stay in communication, stay in dialogue, and work it out and make it awesome. Well, thank you for listening, and thank you to our sponsors. Jody and Derek of Pacific Rim Mortgage. Bradley with Allstate Insurance. Kenji with Pillar to Post Home Inspections. John with Kilauea Pest Control. Duke with Hawaii Pacific Property Management. Robinson of Fine Line Paintworks. Jake with Go Local Power. Scott with Zero Res Hawaii. Amphi with Estate Planning Group. Jason Wu, Attorney at Law. Jeff with The Lone Depot. Rhino of Hawaii Unified. And Janice with Dreamhouse Drafting. If you want to get a hold of any of our sponsors, all you got to do is go to TeamLally.com. We also want to give a big thank you to Leah Rodriguez, our producer here in the studio. Chee-hoo! Make sure to tune in next week. We'll have an awesome guest talking about something that'll change your life. Forever. This is the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the guaranteed... Sold program. program. We can't sell your home at the agreed upon price and our time frame will have it bought for cash. Thanks and aloha. The preceding program was sponsored by Team Lolly.